managing my Okay, sorry. There was a notification that flagged up on my screen and I was like, I don't delete it because it might be important. <laughs> Good evening, all. Nice to have your company. I think I've got my cushion on the wrong way around. Somebody's turned my cushion around. I'm sure they have. I got one of these um, coccyx cushions, and it's supposed to be like that. So your kind of your coccyx and your spine sits pressure, and it was the wrong way around. So there we are. There we are. We're here now. All good in the hood. Okay, as usual, just setting up my other device. I managed to charge it. That's as far as I got. Nice to see you all this evening. I'm hoping this will come on in a second. So as usual, it was a little bit of a rush to Tuesday and I was a bit busy this evening. So I decided to, um, to do a um, class I've done a couple of times already actually. I did it for a church class and my class and um, they're to make up little calendars. The trouble with calendars, you've got to get in there for January, haven't you? So um, I decided I'm going to make maybe um, at least one more calendar because I've got a few people that I want to um, give them to um, where I work. So um, we're going to do calendars today. It's a really simple idea but I just think it's quite effective um, and we're going to do the other colourway that we've not done yet. So I'll turn you around. I need to go and grab the calendars and then um, I'll, sh I'll actually show you what we're going to do tonight. So there we are, we're using the lovely um, cherry punch and um, those are those. Oh look, Vicky says she's got two calendars to make. <laughs> okay, let me just grab the calendars. So the, if you've not made these style of calendar before, they are quite super simple. So if you need um, calendars for a class or you want a quick project, then this would be good to do. Okay, sorry, just calling up my other device so I can catch your messages. Oh, I switched the phone off. That was good, wasn't it? Oh, I'll get back in. Let's try again. Sorry. Bear with. Everything's <laughs> falling down. Come on. Come on, phone. What are you doing now? Oh, now I'm taking screenshots. Help, send to help somebody. Because <laughs> it's my old device, I might even forgotten how to switch it on. What have I done? Oh dear. What have I done here? Where's the on button? I don't know which one's the on button. I don't know what I've done. Look, it's gone blank. Right, I've got to stop fiddling with this because I, I don't even know what I've done with it. Right. Park that one, that's a shame. I charged it specifically and now it's just playing silliness. So, um, yeah, these calendars have got their own stand. No, it's not the battery because it's 100%. Thanks though, <laughs> sorry about that. A little technical hitch there. Um, hi Vicky, hi Sally Jo, hi Ali. Uh, nice to see you all. So yes, these come on a stand like this, okay? So it's it's what's nice about it is you can get two out of one sheet of card. Um, somewhere around here. I'm sure I had some spares. Yes, I buried it under here. Hi Sheila, I'm thinking of doing calendar cards, a motorcycle set. Where do you find the calendars? Do you know what I do these most years, and I get asked <laughs> the same question. Where do you find those calendars? So if you type in tab calendar, they tend to come up. Um, with these so these are off eBay but um, I think you can get them off Amazon don't pay loads for them because they're not expensive little items but they are great obviously if you want to do some calendars so tab calendars I know them as so try and check that out Sheila okay so I've got some leftover card here and a stand so if you wanted the measurements, okay, these will be for A4, but you can obviously adapt them to um, to your needs. So the stand uh, is about, well, four inches. Oh, look, the screen's come back on now. What 
do you want? <laughs> it's decided to, to kick into life. Maybe I pressed it too many times. I think I might have switched off. Four inches by four and one eighth. So I think I've just cut it ever so slightly, ever so slightly smaller than the width of my, my tent fold card. Okay. And then I've scored it at quarter of an inch or you can do like a centimetre point two on both ends can you can you see that sorry the lighting's not great so there and there and then score it in half so yeah I did it at the two inch mark okay so it's just a really simple stand so when you come to fold it you crease the middle thank you Vicky for doing your admin bit yeah, my phone's kicked kicked open now. I think I shut it down by accident. I didn't like it. So I just call it that. And then um, you you want to bend the the two base bits up towards yourself. So I don't talk in valleys and mountains because I get myself confused. But I, I think of it like a bird type shape or a you know you want that type of look, okay? <laughs> Right, where's my bone folder gone? I've lost him. Where are you? It's on the other side. Who's joined us? Hi, Joanne. Joanne's just driving home from class. Hey, hey, Miss Levine. How are you? Give it a good old crease and that's your stand ready to go. So we're going to park this for a minute and we're going to look at the papers. So these gorgeous papers are now available. And look, I think I've, I gave some away for a share. But also I've used them for classes and they've been brilliant. It's such a really pretty background and the colours are so lovely. So let me see if I can fan this out a little bit for you. And I've got all these beautiful offcuts as well. So you've got gingham, you've got check, you've got like a plaid and a tartanesque look. Okay, so you've got the, the pink and the red on one side. And then the other side, you've got um, you've got your mint macaron colour. So the mint macaron was very popular with my church class. A lot of people went for the green for their um, for their calendars. So let's stick with the green theme. And I think I'll go for this the same pattern that I've used for the other ones just to keep it consistent for now and I just think this really suits the cherry stamp set and punch so I cut this down to three and seven eighths by five and five eighths uh, which is about 9.8 centimeters by five and five eighths 4.3 centimeters that doesn't look right, but let's have a look. <laughs> when I start doing things in centimetres, I get confused. There we go. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So nice and simple. I'm not even doing blending tonight. It's that simple. Right. Uh, I do need my corner rounder. Now, this is no longer available from Stampin' Up, but hopefully you would have got a corner rounder or got your hands on this particular trio punch. I didn't get rid of mine because it's very handy. And I just thought to keep the look, look cutesy... I, I'm just taking off all the corners. Now, if you have this punch, or if you're thinking about getting it, um, buying it retired, um, palm in the centre, folks. Okay, so it's not about pressing the side that you need. It's palm in the centre, like a like a resuscitation. <laughs> okay, a resuscitation move. Just seeing if I've missed any messages. Hi, Valerie. Good to see you. So there we go, that's our background. Yeah, just keeping it really simple. And then, now the other thing that I'm using that's retired. Now it wasn't, which size was it? I think it was two and a quarter. Two and a quarter punch. So, uh, I think we'll stick with Mint Mac. Mint Mac I think I've got them out already somewhere. Guys, back up, back up. I'm getting a bit too close for me. I can't reach. Hold on. <laughs> Go with me, please, you lot. Put the 
card on the floor. I need to just make sure that my pattern scraps. Two and a quarter inch. So if you've got circle dies, you can use circle dies. If you've got circle punches, uh, they're just quite handy. So let's any guesses if this is gonna be big enough. What do you reckon? Is this piece of paper going to be big enough for this punch? Hi, Jackie. Good to see you. I'm going to let you guess before I show you. All right, put that one away. Any guesses? Got to wait for the uh, algorithms to come through. The, the beep, boppy, beep, boppy, beep, bops. <coughs> Takes a while for the typing to come through. I can't change. My pitch on there. Naveen reckons no, she reckons it's not going to be big enough. It does look small actually compared to the circle, I must admit. Shall we see? It's just about, look at that, just about with millimetres to spare. <laughs> millimetres. So that's going to be. The circle for our cherries and then we're going to need a piece for the calendar to go on. I'm sure it's three inches by two inches. <laughs> yeah, talk about skin of teeth, right? <laughs> oh, Naveen's like, wow, that's amazing. So we're going to cut, I think I need to change my blade on this. I think I changed it and then I changed it back. Does anybody do that? I changed it for a project. I was like, the other one's not quite run out yet. So if you get furry edges like this on your card, sometimes it means that your blade can really do a changing. Um, there's a couple of ways to um, get the fuzzy off the edge. One is to use the nail file. And what I like to do is um, use my glue eraser, which can, which is great if you're using um, our multi-purpose liquid glue. And if you run, I don't know even how I discovered this, but if you run it around the edge, it just takes off those. And I think it's a bit easier than a nail file and less rough. Turn the blade around, says Vicky. That's, that's one idea. But I do use it both ways. So, um, but there you go, a little tip for you there. Yes, why not be optimistic, <laughs> says Jackie. There we go. Right. So let's see if I was right and see if that is, sorry, my finger's in the way. I'm just trying to zoom you in a bit more. Let's check if that's the right size. Good. So it just creates a nice little border around your calendar. So we're going to park that now and concentrate on these beautiful cherries. So um, actually I didn't use real red. It says cherries on there, but I didn't end up using that colour. Just going to try and see if I can find. Mm, this is going to be a job and a half because I've got things in the way. Right, sorry. Going to see if I can find Sweet Sorbet. But I think she's got a little bit buried. Are you Sweet Sorbet? Yes, you are. Oh, that's good. That wasn't too bad. So how are we all today? <laughs> this week at work has been quite manic, I must admit. It's been a little bit cray cray. Right, which one should we use? Doesn't really matter. They've both been had cherries chomped out of them. Oh, you can use the nail file on the blade. Ah, yes, you could do that as well. So we're cutting ourselves two cherries. Um I'm going to cut a strip. Usually, if you cut strips, they, it's easier for when you use your punches because you only want a section of the of the punch. So, I'm just going to come in and I wonder if this will give me two cherries. No, I think if I'd angled it better, I probably would have got two out of there, but not this time. Never mind. Um, let's cut another chunk off. 
So uh, Valerie's asking Sally Jo what the nail file does. It's supposed to sharpen the blade. A nail file on the trimmer blade is supposed to help sharpen it. There you go, my two cherries. No idea. They will do. That will do. They will do as well. Okay. So we've got some nice cherries here. Um, let me <coughs> cut out the rest. Now I've lost my, this my, I usually have my little scrap packet in here. Mm. It's disappeared, okay. I won't worry about it now. Now, these leaves are actually the same on both sides. I've checked. So I'll just chomp a couple of leaves out of there. So we're not actually using the stamp set that goes with this today. But there is a stamp set that does go with it. And we are going to use uh, soft suede. Would foil work like it does with the punches? What cutting through foil is that what you're asking? Will it sharpen the blade if you cut it with foil? Ooh, it might work. <laughs> Who's going to test it to find out? So, again, you only need a little bit of the stalk. Oh, we need two stalks. Let's see if we can get two stalks out of this. It's amazing what you can get out of a tiny bit of paper, isn't it? Perfect. Okay, actually, I tell a lie, we are going to use the stamp set, but just literally for one tiny bit. <laughs> Which we will do now. She said we just thought of it, says Vicky. Hi, good morning, Monica. Why do Vicky? It's worth a try. <laughs> yeah. Right, that's not parakeet, is it? It's granny. Grand grand. Grands. Hey, Bob, good morning. I feel like you guys are miles away, so I'm going to put you up there and zoom you. In. Okay. So yes, the only one I'm actually using at the stamp set is this um that one there, the the veins. And we're gonna have our leaves going in both directions. I can't believe we're at the end of January already, do you know that? It seemed to have zoomed by. That cherry looks like a face. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of things that we turn into faces on this channel. It's got eyebrows, look. Oh, Joanna's home now, folks. Joanna's home. <laughs> so if you want some more ideas with this cherry punch, I did actually do a, a live before with um, plenty of ideas of what you can do with this. So somewhere around here. <clears throat> got some scrap paper, that's handy. And we're going to... Polish up the cherries. So I'm going to come in with cherry cobbler, which is a nice darker, deeper red, and use my little baby, it's the baby mini brush. So if you want to see the big mama size, it's that's the difference. So handy for smaller areas. Yep, you can have cherry lips. So we did all sorts of things with this. Um, we did. Um, What's it called? Jellyfish. We did jellyfish, peaches, faces, all sorts. Look at the difference. Look at that difference. It's crazy, isn't it? Love it. Love it. Bit of blending. And these brushes are super for little spaces like this. And it might look quite dark. You might think, oh, that's quite a lot. But actually, when it goes on the the background bit of calendar, I think it blends in nicely. So concentrate on one side. Don't go too wild. <coughs> Wasn't there a Neil Diamond song about cherry? Don't know, maybe. And Sally Jo said we did a ladybird. I'm just going to take a swig of water. Mm. 
I know, Monica's, look at the cute little blending brush, isn't it so cute? It's very cute, very cute. Um, Barb is asking about the calendars as well. So um, Sheila asked earlier, and we were saying, uh, I got these off eBay. Um, hi, Karen, don't worry about being late. Uh, I type in tab calendars, but I'm sure you guys can get them in US of A, and um, they're, they're quite cheap and reasonable price especially if you buy them in bulk um <coughs> excuse me okay i'm going to start assembling these um on here so i'm going to keep the cherries flat i'm not going to bother putting them on dimensionals because i'm going to put the the circle or uh, pop that up on dimension i mean you can if you want, but I want these to look similar. Not that it actually matters, but... <laughs> I'm going to put this at ever so slight angle. Now, we're having this, not a debate, but a discussion as to whether the... Like, I think this bit should go into the cherry because it looks more cherry-like. But at the same time, it looks like it could be a stalk. So you could do it both ways, but I think that's the... It looks better that way because it gives you a nice dip where it should be a cherry. I'm sure if you know what to call them, lol, I will try tab calendar. Yeah, I don't know where I got that from, but yeah. I think, you know when you're searching for something and you don't actually know what it's called, so you've got to keep searching until something comes up. So if you type in calendar and then it comes up, so just read the name and see if there's any clue in that name um, as to whether it will help you search for more. I hope that makes sense. Okay. Get me tweezers. So a nice little addition is just to fold the leads. Like so. I'm just folding them in half. You know, this has got to keep you the whole year. Um. We're going to cover it. doesn't really matter how these overlap because these get covered anyway. I just think it looks cuter if they're covered up. No, she can't find them under tab calendars. What else could they be called? Um, DIY calendars, self-adhesive calendars. These aren't self-adhesive, but um, mini calendars. Uh, craft calendar, desk calendar. <laughs> Come up with your suggestions, folks, if anyone's got any idea. Okay, my glue's having a little moment of explosion over here. I'm just going to stick up, stick the lid on and hope for the best. Uh, right, so we've done that bit. We've done the lovely blending. I found 22, but not 20, 23. If you found a seller or somebody, then make and you might be able to ask. Yeah. Barb, you're in a different country though, aren't you? Okay, so I think this is my latest Winker Stella. Um now with one of these, it doesn't I think yeah, this one I squeezed and it came through thick and fast. And this one, I don't know. I'm just gonna add a bit. A bit more. So I think I gave it a fresh squeeze and it came out with quite a lot of glitter. So there we go. Calendar tab pads is what she put in, is what Karen put, not she. Right, so we're going to add some nice highlight with the Winker Stella. Like I said, the more shine you can get, I think it just makes it look even more. Just add something. It's just so sparkly. I don't normally do sparkle, but I, you know, just a hint of that. It's nice. Right, let's get this stuck down. Oh, she's very early again. Must be Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, it's just been a busy old week this week. Waiting to have a quieter week. <laughs> when I look at the calendar, I'm like, yeah, it's not happening. 
<laughs> just got stuff on and even at the end of the week I've got a um, busy few evenings but there we go I'm I shouldn't complain I'm not complaining I'm just making a statement there's a difference I'm not complaining <laughs> okay um now this can get a little bit tricky especially if you're doing a class and I was trying to figure out what the easiest way to tell people how to stick the stand in, especially if you're not a crafter or not used to sort of fiddling around with it. So we're going to glue the tab. I was trying to make it easy by getting them to use tear and tape, but I think I made it life a bit more difficult. And we're going to match up the end of the tab to the bottom of the card. If it's easier, you can open it up. It's probably easier to have it closed, to be honest. Just give it a few seconds for that to adhere. <clears throat> Amazon have the mini calendars packs of 50. If you would need 50 for 7 95 Can you get them in a different country, though? Okay, can you get them in America? Bob, where are you? Are you in America? Sorry if I'm totally, like, I just assume everyone's in America, which is not the case, because I know Monica's in Australia and so is Vicky, and other people are in Canada. <laughs> so I do get a bit confused because I'm not always aware of where people are at. So I'm going to press press the whole body down, and I've glued some more along there. I'm just going to push that top piece of card onto that. Yes, I am right, phew. Thank you, Barb. I was worried that I'd placed you somewhere that you you um, you know you weren't. So that's that bit. Just gonna put that punch on there, and then this. Some sometimes these come with a sticky back, um, where you can adhere it on. And I think these are great quality because having a calendar like this lasts the whole year. So uh, we're gonna have it up the whole year round. Now, I did have another project. Um, oh, place me somewhere tropical, please, says Barb. <laughs> okay, we'll stick you in Hawaii. Barb is now in Hawaii, everybody. Um, so, yes, I have done another project with this, a 3D project, which I'd like to show you because I'm very proud of it. In fact, I just thought actually I could do it for, I've got, <laughs> I've got one more challenge to film. Oh, I could use it for that. Sorry, guys, I'm getting... I'm getting ahead of myself and I might just use that for um, a challenge I've got to do. So just watch this space. It'll, come, it'll prop up on my channel. Okay, I can't find them on Amazon. What are they called? Oh, come on. We've got to solve this before my life finishes. Then it's nearly finishing, guys. So we're going to stick the calendar down. Just guesstimate, you want it about there. You know, bring on your your bits and pieces and get some idea of where it should go. And then we're going to put some dimensionals. If I can find them. Oh, I know where they are. I put them in a packet and I always forget that that's what they are. I go, oh, that's a nice packet. What's in there? And it's because they're in here. <laughs> Ta-da! Uh... So Kay typed in mini calendars. So um, in terms of dimensionals, I reckon five is probably the magic number here. I think from memory. <laughs> Excuse me. Or six. Mm, okay, I'm going to go six because we want it nice and sturdy. Try mini calendars with tear off tab. <laughs> what you should do, everybody, is like log on to the um, American Amazon or American eBay, That's, and then you can. Uh, Shelley says calendars eBay painter four one zero. Hmm, that was very mysterious. <laughs> Bob says thanks. Yep, what did I guess? They want to sell off twenty twenty two before I can buy. 2023 well that's what's the point of that who wants a 2022 calendar now hmm? unless you want it for some kind of weird memorabilia not weird but memorabilia <laughs> you're not weird just because you 
Right, anyway, moving on swiftly. Okay, let me find these. I don't know if that's the best solution for my gems to put them in that tub, but because um, I've got to keep taking them out to look through them properly. Um, oh dear, I do have a big gem collection, don't I? Oh, where are they? Not in there. <laughs> are they here? Are you hiding under? Yes, you are. You are. So um, I'll just show you this while it's here. So because I did the other calendar in my class, I, I made this one into a card. So if you don't want to make them into calendars, you can do cards instead. And you could just replace it with a little ribbon. And I think that it just as nice. So let's see what we've got here in terms of colour. So we could go... Now I reckon if I put these blue ones on, they'll look quite greeny. I think I could get away with that. Should we try? Let's try one. Do you think that looks... thing is, it's different lights, isn't it? I don't want it to look blue. And Okay, just to make sure... <laughs> I'm going to... Um... Oh, stream close up. I'm going to get my... Oh, what should I get? Let's try a light shaded spruce. Yep. Just gives it a green tinge. Perfect. Okay, we need three of these. Just in case in the sunlight it does look more bluey. Um, hi Jean, I, I presume that's how you pronounce your name, sorry. Coming in late but I got mine in the US from Tailored Expressions. Thank you for that. Or oh, they've sold out, try eBay. <laughs> that's Vicky. Shouldn't have sold out already, surely. Like Most years I get asked, I think, where I get them from. Or, do you know what? I could make a killing and, like, sell them to America because nobody can get hold of them. <laughs> make a bit of a profit on the... Make a little sideline. <laughs> oh, dear. That's what I should do. Like, just get 50 in from Amazon. Like Kay suggested. So I've coloured these in with, I'm just checking it's not, the, it hasn't come off of my fingers and it hasn't. Coloured these in with alcohol markers and it's like permanent ink. It's, it's um, kept them. How fun! So that's my collection of calendars and now I must remember to gift them because, um, yeah, January is nearly done, isn't it? So, sunlight has to wear, I know, it's been so frosty. Do you know what, it's been so, the frost has been so pretty today. Very spiky frost, um, but very pretty. So, um, I'm very tempted just to knock out a quick... Um, where am I looking, where am I looking? Like a scrappy card. What time are we? We're half an hour in. So you guys can vote on what colour you like the best. Okay, so I'm happy with those, like those, that's nice. Good, so um, there's a couple of um, teachers that give me a lift and there's another teacher that helped me when um, I hurt my knee. So I think that's who they're going to go to. Let me put them somewhere safe before they get ink on them. And so because I've got a lot of off cuts here, let's just gather the off cuts and see what we've got. Got little and large off cuts. Actually, these will make nice bookmarks, wouldn't they? Nice bookmark size off cuts. Where's all the blue ones? Of green, hardly any blue. Okay. 
Um, so what measurement are these? About a centimetre. <clears throat> Sally Joe likes the green ones. The green, sorry, the green calendar. Yeah, I was just surprised how popular the green green one was. There you go. I think I thought that people would just go for the blue more. Let me just... Do a nice strippy card, I think. There's a piece I think you'll do. Uh, blue for Monica. Vicky likes red or blue. So there's different ways of being able to do these strippy cards. I think I'm just going to go for... Am I? <laughs> yes. I, my, my brain capacity tonight is not very large. <laughs> so I'm just going to check that this is... Now, have you noticed I'm not taking the plastic off my new trimmer? <laughs> Been a bit guarded with it. Okay, yeah, there's various ways of doing this technique, but um, I'm just going to use some... My glue's running. I've turned him upside down, he doesn't like it, because he was happily travelling the other way and I've turned him upside down. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. So it could use wet glue, which I should do now because I've can't find any more glue around here. Oh this one's running out as well, I can feel it. <laughs> right, let's get this glue down. Yeah, there's different ways of like, you know, gluing the strips down, but I'm just gonna go for it. just lay them down one after oh look at that exact fit because they're the off cuts nice and easy I think as long as the ends and like the middle are um, got glue, you'll be fine. Green Kingham reminds me of school and the school kids were not nice. Oh, Vicky. I bet it wasn't this pretty mint macaron green though, was it? Yeah, in the school that I work at, it's a bottle green colour. <coughs> mm. Not sure about those two next to each other. Could do with another you will do.
tiny smidge at the end so we'll just trim the whole thing down in a minute turn that over gluey fingers <laughs> Wondering whether this would look quite nice with the farmyard. Um, I'm gonna, sorry, my brain said one thing and I'm doing another. I'm just gonna trim down a bit more off the side, try and get these guys matching up a bit, and then just trim that a little bit off the bottom. Which hopefully, yes. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. It's like, although you can use this, do this technique over and over again, it, like the results can be completely different just depending on the paper that you've used. So that's quite fun. I'm just going to see. Um, put this. See, I can see a little couple of pigs sitting on there. They look quite cute. What the, oh, the duck with the chicks. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, maybe the chicks. Should we have the little chickadees? The hens. I think that would look really cute. What would you reckon? Definitely a farmyard look. Right, let's go for a quick one of these. Put my circle. Right, we'll put out a circle. Hold on, let's have a look because I don't mind the windmill being put off. So I'll do like a little thing of me. Might do a border, and then it's got chicks and geese. It's a bit confusing with the farmyard, so I need the chicken. So let me cut in this direction. Oh, there's a couple of chickens. Okay, let's just cut a bit of a bit of a rough cut. Um, so we want the chickens. I've just separated him from his feed. Okay, sorry, you're gonna to have to put up with me fussy cutting for a bit now. So we've said it before, we'll say it again. With fussy cutting, you want to keep your scissors fairly straight and let the paper do the work by moving the paper to the angle that you want it to go. Um I think it was Vicky sent a message the other day about something exciting on YouTube are uh, finally doing video collabs where you can get somebody to join your um, live video. So that would be super exciting if you want to do oh, cutting his legs off like a collaboration or if you want to work on a project together or if you want to cut up with your sister. <laughs> oh, he's getting lost. No, we don't want you to get lost. Maybe you can go down there. You can go down there and maybe put the little chicks in there or something. I don't know. I was in my head that we're going to go up here in the in the chicken net, but I don't know. Let's keep going. Um... Sorry I'm back, happy court, don't worry Bob. Loving this says Joanna, thank you. I don't know if I read that comment out yet or not. So let's get these. These chicks are quite big compared to the mummy hen, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm not sure if the proportion's quite there. Sorry, I wasn't planning on fussy cutting tonight, but you know. What's that saying, the plans of mice and men, that one? Thanks, Vicky. So, this paper comes from the Celebration Catalogue promotion, which is happening right now. 
it's not just a physical catalogue, it's also an online catalogue. So if you head over to my um, shop online, you'll be able to see what's available. And with every £45 purchase, you can choose a free item from a selection of what's available. And um, all the chickens are facing the, the same direction. Is there a chick going in the other direction? Yeah. Let's cut this little guy up. So this lovely farmyard paper actually matches a stamp set that's in the new mini catalogue. So again, if you want to check that out, you can go onto my website, stampinstarcreations.co.uk, or if you want a catalogue sent and you're the in a qualifying country, so UK, France, Germany, Austria, the Netherlands, Belgium, and Ireland. I can send you out a catalogue for free. I won't charge you for postage. Although we are still in the middle of a Royal Mail uh, crazy international um, strike. Oh, Vicky, thank you. Yeah, best laid plans, says Dee Dee. Maybe the mummy hen is in the distance and the chicks are closer to us, says Pop. You're still here, says Karen. Yep, I'm not gone anywhere. <laughs> Was that aimed at me, Karen? <laughs> what are you still doing here? Haven't <laughs> you gone yet? <laughs> I'm trying to get rid of a bit of the blue in between the legs because it looks a bit strange. Oh, thanks for the super chat, Vicky. I should be super chatting you. <laughs> Okay, this, I could have them like just like dotted around or like, if I thought about it, they could have been tucked in. This is the mummy hen. Oh, here she goes with her story time. This is, <laughs> this little chick went to market. This one's a bit of a rebel. I was trying to get message on with it, but didn't didn't oh well oh don't worry i thought you were going to say you did it by accident <laughs> the lighting is a bit obscure isn't it anyway right we'll carry on right, i'm not going to do any more fussy cutting what i will do though is get out some crumb cake oh it's not crumb cake crumb cake In all the scraps in all the world, you don't have the right piece. <laughs> that annoys me when you... Oh, actually, you'll do. So let's get out the two and a half. I know this will definitely fit. There we go. Tuck it under there. And have we got any crumb cake ready? Probably do. Do I? Do I? Do, do, do. do I? Okay. Right, watch the chicks, okay? They're there. If they disappear... <laughs> um, which way up do I want my card? I think this way. They're still there, <laughs> amazingly. Oh, he's on the move, told you. Little, oh, that's nice over there. He's a little rebel, that one. Rebel with the claws, aren't you? A bit like the uh, our hamster that has escaped a few times. <laughs> okay, I think this is brown. Let's get a little bit of... Blending going on. Come on, you knew the blending brushes had to come out again tonight. Okay. 
going to just ground this bottom bit here. So when we put the chickadees back in there. Right, I think we might need... Mm. The pigs are so cute. Oh. Do we want any more animals? I think I'm just going to stick with the chicks, but I do wonder whether I need a bit of tree going on. I need one more baby chick. You're right, I do need another baby chick. I was trying to avoid too much fussy cutting. Do you know what? <laughs> so, I need a baby chick that's looking in this direction. So today is going to be you, little one. You're right. Thanks, Vicky. I do need another chick because we can't be having even numbers. No, no, no. Oop. Nearly chopped that one's leg off. Has anyone got chickens? Chicks are so cute, aren't they? Any baby animals are cute. That's better. Yes, you're right, Vicky. Thank you, Miss Vicky. Although the blue's got to come out. Oh, don't stab yourself. Oh, chopped his leg off. This one's coming over to mum, and this one's straggling over there. Okay, so I was wondering about these trees, whether we need some trees or even bushes. We could have bushes. Well, you got Chaz got fifteen chickens and they're all different colours. Do they lay different colour eggs then, Chaz? Are they hens? I love the like the green and the blue eggs. I was very tempted to get the farmyard set. But I thought I'd start with the papers. Mm, I don't want that to be floating. Right, let's... sorry, everything's moving. Let's put that there. Hmm. I think that needs to be rounded off. Maybe. Well, that could work like that. Sorry, fiddling around. Um, do you have names on that anymore? Um, Sally Joe, there are allotments at the back of my house and most days I see a lady with her grandson going in. I noticed today that they have got chickens and the little boy is so cute with them. I know bantams are, can be very friendly, can't they? Particularly when you get some lovely chickens. Right, I'm going to stop fiddling. I feel like I'm fiddling and I just need to get on and do something with the card. All right, I'm going to grab out some ribbon and um, maybe this does need to be central. I'll have a little play unless we do it this way around. Sometimes if you're struggling with a card layout, turn the card the other way around. 
um, that's it's happened to me before when you you're struggling to get a card to sit right and you can't quite figure out what's what's wrong if you if you turn the card round <laughs> look at that you're gonna have him peeking out wondering where the chick is um What do you guys think? Do you prefer it landscape or horizontal? Horizontally. Okay, sorry. The, the pictures are so tiny that I'm fiddling now. Right, let's go on with this and find some matching ribbon. Now, this is poor party. I wonder. Yes, linen thread. Good shout. Good shout. Do we reckon horizontal or vertical? I'm wondering whether to move these guys over. I might stick on a sentiment or something. Yeah, should we just stick to basics? Maybe have the two loose ones on the sentiment strip. That's a good idea. So like have a sentiment down here. Okay, let's get stuck in. I'm sorry, sorry guys. I don't like it when I kind of fiddle faffle when I get to the point where I've been indecisive. It, it annoys me. <laughs> so I'm like, if it's annoying me, it must be annoying you. <laughs> and I think I'm getting a little bit tired, I must admit, so I need to just get on, get on with it. Now I could have blended the outside, but I quite like the look of these stripes. When I had my glass, Bead business. A lady from America asked me to make a necklace of chickens for her daughter who worked as a doctor with children. I loved making the chickens. That's so cute. Oh, you guys are saying landscape now, are you? Oh. You're changing your minds. I know that's stuck down and I can't move it. wonder if you know you could do that trick with the dental floss <laughs> I'm wondering if I can get my <laughs> my thread under here yes it's working okay so are we going to go we're going to go landscape the people have spoken <laughs> Vicky says I could be cheeky about the annoying but I won't Vicky Vicky right I managed to get that underneath so I'm going to have to re-glue the top half let's get on and tie this I wonder whether it needs to go around again I wouldn't normally waste that much linen thread, but you know. For tonight's project. Speaking of annoying. <laughs> oh dear, Ruth just hopped on. That was bad timing, wasn't it? <laughs> oh dear. Right. Do you know what would be super cute? Is having the little chicks hanging off the string. That would be cute. So if we can get this pressed back down. Oh, hi Judy. Hi all, it's the annoying one here. <laughs> Her own words, not mine. <laughs> okay. So are we going for the centre? Doing this guy in the centre and sort out our family again. I think once the sentiment goes on, it'll be fine. 
quite like the idea of this guy behind the behind here. Maybe this guy's distracted. And the mummy chicken's over here. And this daddy chicken is like pecking on the ground going, I found some clues. Mummy chicken's going, he's not there, he's over there. And then these guys could be like hanging off the string here. Would that be cute having the little guys hanging off the string? Should do a little bow. No, off the side. <laughs> <laughs> Or have this off to the side, like we originally planned. Right, let's get stuck in. I'm not going to be annoying. I'm sticking. <laughs> oh dear. Or oh, Karen's dictating to me now. Hi there, John. Right, do a little bit of glue on here. So these started off as cherry cards, you guys. <laughs> I'll show you the calendars in a minute. Okay. Right, we're going for mummy hen and a hidden chick. I think that'd be rather cute, don't you think? And then I'll be having a sentiment then. Right, let's have a look at sentiments. Um, my friend, is your day? Hoot hoot, you're so cute. Uh, sending happy thoughts. So a very happy birthday. Yes, the original plan. I think a cute little sending happy thoughts. Right, these guys are going to get stuck down. This guy is going to hide behind the bush. I think he's cute there. Mummy is going, where are you? I'm coming to find you. And then... We're going to get the. Oh, is that my time out already? Or did I? No, I didn't. I can switch on the do not disturb. Your two baby with the hen and chick at the side. So one at behind her, like this. And then maybe just have the three chicks. Right. Let's get on with getting on. Where is my off cut? Come. Now, right next to me here. Now, is this going to show up? I tell you what, I'll just use a darker colour. I know, I keep changing it, Vicky. I keep changing it. No, if I use soft spray show up sending happy thoughts do, 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 do. Do, do, do. now I keep forgetting to do that nice thing where you can cut a slant I need to chop this down a bit do 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 Oh dear, is that wobbly? Yeah, it is. Let's take the scissors out. If you cut it with scissors, it's not so obvious. Oh, that 
that's cute. How about that, guys? There's just a big blob of glue there that I need to sort out. Sorry, can you guys see? <laughs> can you see? Right, let's do that. We're doing that. Let's sort out that blob of glue. It's really messing with my head because I keep wanting to cover it. Oh, 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 she's rubbed out the paper. No, I might as well stick that flat because... I don't know, just because. Might make my life easier. It's amazing how the simplest cards can take the longest. Because <laughs> sometimes it's the thought that goes into these things. Where's the other chook? He's over here. He's 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 gone off pecking some food and he's just wandering off. I'm not gonna stick him on because I want the mummy and the babies and I think it would look odd if I stuck him in there some he can go inside the card or um yeah somewhere else. Right. He's going to trail behind here. He's going to get stuck on the end. Yeah. Cute. Right, don't run away because you, you will be incorporated just somewhere else. And then last but not least. I love these. Antiquey. Thing me. <clears throat> sweet, sweet for my sweet. I feel like it needs like a little, like a little love heart or something. Anyway, so I digress. Where were we? So we've got some cherry calendars. Shall we show you now? Let me zoom you out. So we made this one tonight, and these were the alternatives. And then um, I'm just using the scraps because I made quite a few of these cards for some classes, and then we made up this one. The other center. The other could be behind the sentiment. Who this guy here? He's climbing the mountains. Climb every mountain. No, oh, he's pecking at the. What do you guys think? Do we need him on there? <laughs> Okay, let's use him. Let's use him because he'll only get lost in my, amongst my bits and I'll be like, yeah, you didn't get used. There we go, you could be pecking at the sentiment. <laughs> it's all about the detail on this one. <laughs> there we are. Lovely. Oh, Sally Jo said put him inside. <laughs> I'll have to cut some more. Cool. Right. Thank you so much. Right. I've gone over my time. <laughs> After an hour and I feel like, okay, time's ticking. Thank you so much for joining me once again for my live today. Um, I try and come live on a Tuesday at 8.30 UK time and um, just come and do some crafting. Lovely to have your company. I always appreciate you coming to support me in whatever way that is through liking, commenting, subscribing, um, super chatting, paypaling, just being there, just watching the replay, because I know you guys out there do that, so thank you so much, I really do appreciate it. It keeps me going, it keeps my fun, my hobby funded and my business funded, and yeah, so it's, you make me show up every week, so thank you. <laughs> Vicky says, now I need to post it to me. You mean you need to post it to me. <laughs> what is that buzzing around me? Anyway, right, nice to see you all folks. Thank you very much for your time. Take care and God bless you and I'll catch you 
next week if you're around. Okay, bye for now. Mwah. Bye.